it, it too quick, too quick. I cannot, I have no time to put this thing right here. Okay, as you can see, it is work. All right, so you can play with two player and so on. So as you can see, I cannot go in, but there is a little problem, and I will show you in a moment. So if I can, oh, not. So if I can hit the ball with the bottom or the top of the this thing, then as you can see, see that. It just go uh, right and then left, right, left, right, left. Okay, it's not. So yeah, we have to change this little thing. So this is what makes the collision detection a little bit uh, uh, compli complicated because we have to uh, fix that error. So if it is uh, 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 hit the top or the bottom of the this rectangle, then we have to change the y velocity. If it is hit the up or the down, so the top over the bottom of the of this thing then we have to change the y velocity as the x velocity so that's the next thing we will do okay so mm, we have to check the y cord uh, the y coordinate if the y coordinate is inside then okay i will show you better because i am not so good at explanations okay so go back to ball and the collision okay we have to make another check inside this collision so I just open a code though because this will be more line of code and this is more understandable in this way. So if uh, so if the uh, if the box dot x so the fracking caps look box dot x is uh, so we just uh, let me think so uh, if the box dot x is uh, less than the re rectangle, uh, no, player, player one. Uh, so the player one, dot x uh, plus the width. And if it is true, then this is. Uh, so if it is uh, true, then the ball is something like here. So we just check the x coordinate. And uh, as you can see, this is the ball dot x coordinate, this corner right here. So if it is less, as you can see, if it is less than this corner, so so this corner of the uh, pedal, then we are in. So we are uh, ver uh, we are probably colliding with the top or the bottom of the thing, so the pedal. So we negate the y speed. So y velocity equals to minus y velocity uh, as we are uh, colliding with the other part okay uh, the next thing is to actually uh, uh, check the other similarly to this but actually not the same because uh, i will show you in a moment just i've written it so if the if the box dot x plus box dot width is actually greater than uh, player 2x then similarly to uh, similarly we uh, negate the y velocity so y well equals to minus y well else we negate the x velocity that's it okay this uh, checks in the other corner so here is the pedal right here and uh, here is the ball for example this is a little big ball okay here okay so if the if this if this corner of the ball is more inside than the x axis of this uh, pedal then we probably colliding with the top or the bottom okay so probably i don't uh, tell it clear but uh, draw it in a paper or in gimp and you will find out why i did why i did what i did okay so it will work in a perfect world but we are not in the perfect world and that's because i show you in a moment okay here is it so here is the pedal okay imagine that this is the pedal okay maybe a little bit longer like that okay and uh, this is the ball okay the but the ball is not moving one pixel at a second for example imagine that it's moving two pixels per, uh, per second so the next position of the ball will be this okay and the next position of the ball will be oh will be inside this uh, pedal so yeah it is inside this pedal with the uh, with the few pixel so and that's why it would uh, believe that this is the 
uh, top or the bottom. We have to make a few pixel uh, offset because we don't want to be so perfect. Actually, I'm playing with a little bit and I find that the uh, uh, four pixel is enough if the bo uh, if the ball is moving in that velocity. So, in case of the rectangle one, we have to add uh, four uh, pixel to it. So plus four, and in case plus four, and in case of the second rectangle, we have to subtract four pixel, uh, not three four, and this will be enough. Okay. Now, if I compile the program and uh, run it, what did you? Oh, Y velocity. Okay, uh, that's the only compile error, and the uh, missing semicolon. Okay, so we can compile it and run it, and probably if I do everything well, as you can see, although it was a little uh, hard to see, but it goes out. But I don't know. Maybe it's not a perfect. Okay, a little bit of thing there, but it will go eventually out. Okay, and just try with the normal. Okay, it seems, I think that it worked quite well, so, yeah. As you can see, it's... Uh, in okay, not perfect, but, you know, almost. Mm, maybe a little smaller, for example, 3 pixels would be enough. Try now. So, that's about the collision detection, it is not perfect. It seems easy in the paper when you just planning the program it let uh, it, it is less easy if you actually make it as you can see there is a problem right there although this problem will be uh, um, solved whenever so fixed whenever I you know uh, make the end of the game because these are uh, outside of the screen so it will end eventually uh, yeah, okay so uh, we need in case of the player, I will uh, store the player's point in the paddle. So int point and make the point uh, zero in the constructor. So make point equal to zero. Okay, this will be the point. Okay, and I make a function called ink point. So increase point. So void ink point. Okay, this will add one point to one of the player. So in here under this uh, void is point and this will not do anything else just use uh, point plus plus and that's all we need to do and inside the in, in the main we just check that is the ball inside or not actually we should do that in the ball because the ball will check that is it out and uh, so make a function in here we'll return a bool and call it is out and uh, this will simple return with true if it is out actually make an int in return type and if it will return with zero if it is not out one if it is the first if it is out in the first player and two if it is out in the uh, other player so just do it in here so in is out and uh, if box dot x is less or equal than zero then it is out so we just return with uh, with one because it is out in the Third, first place, so in the first player, so the second player will get the point. If box dot x is greater or equal than uh, SDL get video uh, surface dot uh, width, then we return with true the uh, two. As if none of them is true, then we return with false, indicate that the uh, ball is not out yet. Okay, that's about it. So not good uh, we have to get the clip wrecked and we get the uh, this from the clip wrecked now it is okay so in the main we just check it in the logic section in here that if the ball is out uh, if uh, actually use a switch switch ball one dot is out and just you know free state actually just two so case uh, one then the second player is get the point, so player two dot ink point. All right, and we break. And in case of two, so case two, then the player one get the point. So player one dot ink point, and break it. And actually, that's all. Okay, maybe an if as if would be better in a source list that like that, but you know, never mind. So. Uh, but it is not end because we have to set everything back to the original position because now although it will give the point actually more times It will not uh, set back everything to the original position. So 
So I make a function in the pedal called call it the uh, setback or something like that. So void setback. Okay. Oh fracking caps lock. Void uh, setback. Okay, and uh, it will it will get the same parameters except the image. The image will uh, remain the same. Okay, and uh, I have to make it. Okay, this will be almost like a constructor. It, it just set everything back to the given value. So void pedal set back. Oh. Okay, and one thing I just uh, see that this in point is not inside pedal. So fix that. All right, and uh, just make it. I just copy from the constructor the needed part, so it is just easier. Like that, uh, I will delete the image. Okay, that's it. And now I have to make the same function for the ball. So void setback. Okay, and it will uh, get the same things except the image. <sighs> okay, and in here just make it. I just see that the is out isn't in the pedal. Okay, now I just copy the relevant part of the constructor, so everything which is not an image. Okay, that's it. And then uh, we can set back. So we increase the points, and then we set back the player one dot set back, and we give the same values as we did with in the constructor. So I just copy it except the image of course okay then i set back the player 2 so player 2 dot set back maybe it would be a good idea to store these uh, value somewhere and set back to the original position but you know it's not a big deal to do that and we set the ball back so ball dot ball 1 dot dot set back and i just copy the values to here as well except the image okay we do the same thing actually in here, so I just copy it and uh, paste it right here. Okay, that's all we needed to do. Okay, so whenever the ball is out, we just set back to everything to the original position. Okay. Ball.cpp63. Ball.cpp63. Oh, this is not pedal, this is ball. And this is ball as well. Now, uh, okay. Okay, it works perfectly after I change these few values. So if I run the program and the ball is out, it, everything be, will be set back to the original position, as you can see. Even if I move everything out, it will set back to the original position. Okay, I just let the ball go out and everything set back. Okay, now the point is probably increasing, so we want to uh, draw the point actually to the screen. Okay, I think the uh, pedal is good to draw the point, so in case of uh, hmm, increase point no uh, where should I draw the point hmm. good question uh, maybe I draw it in the main I just get the point so in get point and this is inside the pedal so pedal get points and uh, it will just simply return with the points so return point okay that's it we have to put the declaration in here it get point that's it and in, and then I will draw the points in the main function uh, in the render part. Okay, in here uh, make it uh, before the flip. So in here I draw the points. So uh, we need to initialize a few things to uh, make us able to draw points. So include sdl slash sdl ttf dot h. As you may remember, we need that. Okay, initialize the uh, initialize a font. So ttf font and uh, make it font and initialize the TTF so TTF in it okay and uh, initialize the font equal to TTF open font okay I have an air dot TTF uh, font in the same directory and I present it should be enough okay not thin font okay now initialize everything and initialize the color to the font so SDL color uh, color and make this color equal to black I guess so zero 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 all right then we, ha we can actually make the font right uh, make the text right here so